Hi, I'm Scott Judnick, owner of Judnick Motorsports, along with my wife, Colleen. Here we've got three of our race sleds, a couple of our practice sleds. We've got our transporter behind here. We've got the exercise bike up top for the guys to loosen off with. So with that, why don't you guys come on in for a tour? And we start back here. This is kind of Tony's area. All the clutching is done here clutch weights, all of his uh, data that's coming in that he reads here. We're actually going to put a new monitor right here yet in the next week or two. We'll get a monitor there so that's not just on such a small screen. You can see we got all of our parts, nuts, bolts, washers, every rivet, everything's part numbered. Uh, when we start running low on something, the guys just mark it down right here. And when we get back to the shop on, on Sunday night, we turn in the order sheet to uh, the parts department. And by the time we get rolling again on Wednesday, all the parts are here and everything is kind of replenished. Again, this is all stuff for clutching. Tony was just doing a little bit of welding. So we've got a obviously onboard welder right here. You open this side door, you can do a little, you know, put stuff in the vise right here, all the cables, everything reaches and so forth. So. Uh, that works out great. The beam here, we run the sleds. We have a hook. We have a winch out here that we have big battery hooked to. That rolls in and out. We haul the sleds in and out. I'm sure you'll see some pictures as we're hauling them in and out through the season. Haul the sleds in and out, set them on the ground. Then we can move them around in here. Then these are the two workstations. So when we have two, two sleds in here, one goes on that lift gets angled into that bench, one goes here. Everything that they need is in those three drawers or up in those cabinets. So, and it's all identical so that they can each have their own for working on their, their racer sled. So, so we all put a buck in the, in the pot and everybody in here, all the mechanics and myself, every single day and anybody else that walks through the door puts a buck in and then you, get, you guess what the air density is and whoever's closest gets the pot. So that's kind of the highlight of each race morning. That's how the day starts. The guys walk in with their coffee and their donut and we have a little bet. <laughs> Up here, again, Walker Evans, one of our great sponsors. Uh, this is our shock vise. Again, we can do oil, we can do valving changes, all that. And then come on up. So this is the lounge area. Uh, we've got onboard satellite. Uh, there's a TV downstairs and a TV here. Music's got a great stereo system in here. Uh, there's storage underneath all of the couches. My wife keeps all her crock pots and so forth there. Lots of cooking. We, we eat all of our meals at the, at the racetrack. Uh, again, we just finished up with lunch. Tony grilled up some hamburgers and so forth. So it's kind of home away from home here. So this is kind of the crew in the driver's lounge. Again, because of height restrictions of going down the road, you're bent over a little bit up here, but we have five lockers here for, for the crew and the racers. And then, uh, so the guys can call, come up and, and they get changed and so forth. We've got em Emo's on the track here. Looks like he's just doing a, a sight lap right now. And I believe that's Carson. Carson runs out of the second trailer. We have three trailers here right now. So we have Alreed's trailer, which is right there. Uh, and that's what Carson runs out of there with his dad. And then we have our practice trailers over here, this black one here. So we run the practice sleds out of there. So Nick and Nick and Emo will take that back to the DRX. Uh, works out good. So. We have three trailers here, and I don't know, like five pickup trucks here, and guys running around all over, and we got mechanics and racers, and it's, uh, it's a blast. It is really a blast. 